Hi, this is Elliot Eisenberg of Graphs and Laughs here to catch you up to date on the latest in residential sales data for both Hillsborough and Pasco counties. And it continues to be a story of inventory. There's still very little out there. Yes, it's doubled from a year ago, but it's doubled from absolutely nothing to now just a little bit. It was six, seven, eight, nine tenths of a month before. Now it's 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, way up in percentage terms, but still very little. Had someone told you pre-COVID that inventory now would be less than two months, you'd say, wow, that's very little inventory. But of course, compared to the the depths of COVID, this is now way up. But nationally, inventory is at 3.2 months. So you're 60% of the national average. Because there's so little inventory, prices continue to rise. In Hillsboro, 20%. In Pasco Single Fam, 25. In Pasco Multifam, 30. The Pasco Multifam market's really doing the best now. If we look at pending sales, they're down in Hillsboro, down a little less in Pasco, up in Pasco Multifam. If you look at actual sales, they're down in Hillsboro, down a little less in Pasco Single Fam, and actually up in Pasco Multifam. I think, and, and listings are up in Pasco Multifam, they're down everywhere else. That market's really moving, people are moving, people are selling because it's a little more affordable, there's more to look at and so on and so forth. The key is the market's still pretty good. The market will struggle more because interest rates are now gotten higher. And I think as a result, price appreciation will come down. Watch inventory closely. If we look at the national market and pivot over there, what we know is that Q1 and Q2 were just lousy quarters. We're not in a recession. Job growth is still very good. A job full recession seems very unlikely. Q3 will probably eke out a little bit of growth. I think Q4 also ekes out a little bit of growth, but not enough to compensate for the drop in Q1 and Q2. Overall, 22 is negative economic growth. The big thing that we have to look about going forward is inflation. Inflation remains persistent and tough and strong. And as a result, the Fed's telling us they're raising rates and they're also telling us they're going to raise future rates more. They're gonna keep raising. And as a result of that new information, 30-year mortgage rates went up. That, my friends, is a feature of what the Fed's doing, not a bug. The Fed wants to slow the economy down, slow housing sales, slow new home construction, slow multifam construction, slow commercial construction, and wring inflation out of the system. The thing is we need to see inflation fall really fast. If it falls fast and deep down to 3% really quickly, maybe we avoid a recession. But otherwise, the Fed keeps raising rates or else keeps rates at a high level for a longer period of time. And as a result, the chances of a recession keep going up. Last couple months, I might have thought there was a 75% chance. Now I think there's a 95% chance. Keep that in mind as you go forward. I look forward to seeing you next month.